What are you doing tonight? I will be reciting to you a poem entitled Writings on the Wall. Hit it. We are all here to witness the experimental, fundamental, sentimental verse that blossoms like words from my instrumental seed, stampeding the skies like an elemental storm from our roots that have been disconnected and torn since the day we were born. Unfolded and molded into realities from the microphones in hand. It's time to perform. It's hard to retain when your thoughts are strained, but I don't light them up and smoke them up in flames. I dip them in paint and let them wash in the rain, allowing them to translate the pains I obtain, but abstain to explain. The pumping pains that I squeeze from my wrist through the ink of the pen held in my fist are the lead sediments that dissolve with their tips, sprinkling color to these words which seem to not exist, spilling the wisdom of a mad lyricist. Now let's pause for a second so you could snap out of this hypnotism. From my position, I will project to you my vision so you can make your decision without disposing criticism. Listen carefully. Everyone's a volume if you learn how to listen. Back then, there was a parallel line between the music and the lyrics and the rhythm, but in the present day, we lack this parallelism because the media has eclipsed exceeded repetition and they have managed to possess us as, the, as, w as well as the way that we talk and write and dance. But beyond the neon sticks and pulsating strobe lights that shine above vibrating individuals and rituals as they subcontaminate with the drugs they justify as a use of recreation, while their speakers radiate their mesmerizing recitations across the states and all over the nation, we uncover insecurity and impurity behind the curtains by which we sit in obscurity with a conscious mind because we realize that we are beginning to slip from the lights of shame we've been clenching to with full grip seeking comfort from an automatic, dim, empty glow that hovers above us as it would for the dolls in a puppet show. And we're progressively closer to falling into the darkness of reality, pivoting our backs against the stage, against the lights that burn our backs with the rips of rage, breaking the absence of silence like the syllables of the words in this page, piercing gauges in the ears of the deaf who stand like poised rats in a cage beneath the breath of the blind scientists who cast the shadow of death. So as the days breathe by and confetti rainbows curl in the sky like the roots of a tree that extend into the underground, I let the music pound over the sound that pollutes gossip through the streets and creeps into your sheets, regenerating from your head down to your feet. And that, ladies and gentlemen, terminates the last sentence in my speech. So I leave these words for you and the melody at your reach. And I hope it crawls into you like a leech and rubs off like the mute painting tattooed on an enclosed hall or the outline hieroglyphics in a bathroom stall because these words are more than just writings on the wall. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the show.